we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. If you read the writings of people like Barbara Mark Hubbard, one of the wealthiest women in the world, she ran for the uh, Democrat nomination for the vice president in 1984, and you read her book, The Revelation, the book of co-creation, she talks about the necessity of killing a quarter of the population of the world, those who will not evolve to a higher level of consciousness, and as she says in her book, she said, that's not your job to do the killing, that's ours, for we are the riders who pay a horse death referring to Revelation 6-8. David Foreman, uh, who was one of the founders of Earth First, uh, financed by the great foundations and by people of great wealth, talked about getting the world population down to 100 million. All they need is enough people to serve them uh, and their desires. These are the elitists. They have a different worldview. You really want to have them controlling your destiny and the destiny of your family. One is maintained the world population at 500 million in constant balance of nature, which doesn't sound too bad until you realize that we've got over 6 billion people in the world, and if we're going to maintain the world population at 500 million in constant balance of nature, we're going to have to kill off about 90% or more of the world's population. Today's population is 6 billion. They want to maintain humanity under one half billion. Looks like a lot of people got to die for their plan to work, which is, by the way, the plan. The Jacques Cousteau said we'd have to eliminate 350,000 people a day. A third of a million people a day would have to be eliminated to save Mother Earth. Now, Bill Clinton said we need to reduce the population of the Earth to one billion. There are a lot of folks who would like to reduce the population of the Earth. A magazine called The Omega Letter says that there is only one obstacle to world unity, Christianity. It goes on to say that Christianity claims supernatural knowledge and divine revelation and therefore should not be tolerated. Gus Hall, the former leader of the Communist Party in America said, I dream of a time when the last congressman is strangled to death on the guts of the last preacher. And since the Christians love to sing about the blood, why not give them a little of it? A new age group calling itself Solar Questers writes, these are wondrous times because the world has gone through this terrific experience as it spins slowly back to its rightful orbit in the position that it should be in the heavens. And as this happens more and more, more comfort and well-being will come upon this world and those who hinder will be removed, liquidated. They must be wiped clean off the face of the earth. Ruth Montgomery, sometimes referred to as the herald of the new age, said, Millions will survive and millions won't. Those who won't will go into the spirit state because there is truly no death. The authors of a New Age pamphlet titled Cosmic Countdown claim to have received messages from a higher intelligence. The pamphlet says the world should be forewarned to be on the lookout for the decimation of populations. These peoples will eventually be replaced 
surprised by the new root race about to make its appearance in a newly cleansed world. Aleister Crowley taught that a global massacre would be necessary to bring about the new age. He wrote, there is a magical operation of maximum importance, the initiation of a new eon. When it becomes necessary to utter a word, the whole planet must be bathed in blood. Before man is ready to accept the law of Thelema, or will, the great war must be fought. This bloody sacrifice is the critical point of the world ceremony of the crowned and conquering child as Lord of the Eon.